YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Time with your host Bailey. How's it going, everybody? Um, I apologize so bad for not getting the 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th on the proper days. I had some doctor's appointment and we didn't get some great news, so I have missing blood from my body. <laughs> And I have to go for iron infusions, and I've been very, um, extremely anemic. I have pica, which is why I've been eating ice. So I do apologize. I am actually going to put out the 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, and 28th out all on the 28th so that we have one for each day. So again, I apologize to everybody about not having them all on the proper days my health was not great. So this one is day 24 and I am calling this one Monster Soup. It is a really cool little 3D doohickey. Um, I don't really, I just started going for it. So um, without further ado, let's get into the 24th of the 30 Days of Nailoween. Okay, so I am starting off with a teal and gray mixture as my background color. This is going to be my like soupy monster skin color. And I do two coats of this. There's two coats there. And then I'm going to wipe away the tacky layer and also buff it because next I'm going to use white 3D gel. And I'm going to do various sizes of uh, balls. <laughs> I'm going to do a large, a medium, and a small. And these are all going to be eyes. And I'm also going to do one um, little like snaggle tooth. And that's going to turn into a mouth. So I'm just pressing those into place. Don't worry about there being any glitter or anything on that because I'm going to paint over top of that. So there's my little snaggle tooth, placing that. And then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. And then using a dotting tool and some uh, thick builder gel, I'm going to use it to create um, the eyelids and um, like lower jaw of the mouth. I'm just kind of manipulating it so that it looks like an eyelid. Cured that. And did the lower lid. Kind of making them look like 3D. And then I did them all. Cured them. And now I'm going to take white and enhance the white of the eye like the part of the eye that's going to be visible through like the the eyelid <laughs> and also the tooth as well and then I cure that and then I'm going to take the remainder the remainder of the green color that I mixed and I'm going to go over the eyelids just as you see there and just going to blend it into the background Okay, and once that's all blended in, I cure it. I'm going to add some black to my remainder or remaining color. And I'm going to use this as like shading on the outsides of the eyes to make them more prominent and look a little more there, I guess. Like, so you can tell that they're a little more 3D.
And now that that's cured, I'm going to take various colors and I'm going to complete the look by giving the eyes colors and pupils and a little gleam of light. And I'm also going to add a little bit of um, yellow to the outer corners to make them look a little more monster-like. And I'm also going to add some like tartar to the monster tooth to finish it up and make it unique. Okay, so there it all is. I matte top coated it and I added the shiny top coat to the eyeballs and a little bit of drool out of the mouth to complete this look. And I hope you guys enjoyed the monster soup as much as I did. It looks really cool. I love it so much. So anywho's, I hope you guys all stay tuned and stay jazzy.